Hey guys, this is Dan with Kick At 55 Fitness, and today we are doing our lower body blast workout. The equipment you will need are a stepper and some dumbbells. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click push notifications so you can stay up to date with all our current workouts. All right, guys, let's get you started with our warm up. We're going to start 30 seconds. We're going to do some air squats. Ready and go. Good. Now, if you want to make it a little harder, you can add a jump with it like that. Good. Go all out. This is just getting you warmed up. Nice and loose. Make sure your form is good. Make sure your pelvis is tucked. Good. 10 seconds. After this, we're going into reverse lunges, alternating for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. I'm going to turn to the side for you and go. Good. You want to put your hands behind your head? That's fine too. Good. Keep going. Good. 10 seconds. After this, we're going to just go into Frankenstein kicks. Three, two, one. Good. Next. Arm out. Kick straight up. Switch. Good. Good. And you can kind of switch your feet as you come down to make it a little more fluid. Good. Just getting a nice hamstring stretch. Working on those hip flexors too. Good. 10 more seconds. You guys are doing great so far. This is our first round. We're going to do one more round of this warm up. We'll get you into our circuits. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Back into those air squats. Go. 30 seconds. All out. Again, like I said, you want to make it harder on yourself. You can go for longer, pause the video, or you could add a jump with it like that. Good. Halfway. Keep your back up tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse lunges. Ready, go. And alternate. Yep. Good. There you go. Heart rate should be a little high right now. Make sure you're focusing on your breathing. Good control. Nice form. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Frankenstein kicks next. Go. Nice. Switch. Good. Make sure you're breathing. This one shouldn't hurt you too much. Shouldn't get you out of breath. It's just getting a nice little stretch. Good. Keep going. Nice. Now we're going into our first circuit in 10 seconds. We're going to do a rear foot elevated split squat. A rear foot elevated lunge. You're going to take some dumbbells. Good. Now I'm going to let you hold the dumbbells on just one side, or you can hold it on both, whichever makes you happy. We're going to have our foot up elevated on our stepper. Try to keep your form and your angles about 90-90. We're going three sets at 30 seconds. Each leg. Ready. And give you five seconds to take a deep breath. Two, one, go. 30 seconds. Good. Remember, we're working on our form here. Don't let that knee buckle inwards like that. Keep it bowed out. You want to think kneecap in alignment with our second toe. Good. Come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, one, switch. Get that leg up. And go. Good. Control your breathing. Good. 15, come on. Whew. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going into single leg RDL next. You can either hold it on the opposite hand, and that'll counterbalance, or if you want it even more of a challenge, hold it on the same side. Good, 30 seconds, go. Good, back straight, don't hinge at the hip. Or you do hinge at the hip, don't bend over in the back. Good, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, switch. Ready, and go. Good. Whew. There we go. Control your breathing. Squeeze that glute at the top. Back nice and straight. Good. Whoop. Catch your balance. Don't lose your balance. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Back into those rear foot squats. This time I'm going to do it with a single dumbbell so you guys can see the difference. I like to hold it on the same side. You can hold it on the opposite if you want. For my knee purposes, it's better on the same side. Go. 30 seconds. Good. Nice control. Hips, our knees and hips are bowed out. Good. Come on. You got 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one, switch. Good. All right, ready. And 30 seconds all out. Go. Oh my gosh. Whoo. Getting tired at this point. Here we go. This is where we push. Come on. Got a long workout ahead of us. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Back to those single leg RDLs. And go. 30 seconds. Good. Remember, keep your planted knee soft. We don't want to lock it out. Keep it soft. Keep your hips even, no rotation. Squeeze at the top. Good, 10 seconds. Whew. It's okay if you lose your balance, just regain it. Two, one, switch. You guys are crushing it so far, keep going. Whew. There we go. Now we're sweating. Come on, feels good. Good, 10 seconds. And we go back to our third set. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. All right, last set. We'll take a little water break after that. You ready? Go. Find your balance. Good alignment. All out. Notice how my breath stays in control. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. And switch. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. All right. Last one. Ready? And go. Good. There we go. Come on. Dig. After this, we'll get a little water. We'll go to our second circuit. Good. 10 seconds. Whoo. Come on, baby. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Last set. We're doing those single leg RDLs. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Good. 
Now, when you go down, you go just into the point where you feel it in the hamstring. If you start going further, you'll bend in the back. And we don't want that. We want nice, straight back as we go down, hinging in that hip. Good. Come on, 10 seconds. Good. Whoop. Catch your balance. Three, two, one, switch. And we go to circuit two after this. Now you may find one side is a little more flexible than the other. As long as you're keeping your good form, that's okay. That's all that matters. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Here we go. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Circuit number two. We're starting off with heel taps. And the reason we do heel taps is for we neuromuscular control. It's less about strength. It's more about getting those nerves to fire correctly. So you're up on the box. Your other foot is pointed at the top. You're going to bend into that knee, tap, come back up. All about control. 30 seconds. Go. Same thing. Don't let that knee buckle in. Call that valgus collapse. You want to be keeping that hip out and firing the whole time. Good. Now, if you notice, this is essentially going downstairs. So if you've ever walked downstairs and felt like you don't have control, this is an excellent, excellent rehabilitative and strengthening exercise. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. 30 seconds. Ready. And go. Tap. Come back up. Got that balance. Good. Notice how the knee goes straight out. We don't want it falling in like that. And that comes from our glute medius. So if your knee is buckling, it tells me your glute medius is weak. We need to do some crab walks, some sideline leg lifts to get that strong. Good. Doing great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Next thing we're going to do, get your dumbbells. We're going to do a squat with a little bit of a heel lift at the bottom. 30 seconds. Ready. And go. So squat, lift, back, up. Go. Good. Now you lift on those toes, but then you push up through the heels. So you have to go all the way back. Squeeze your butt at the top. Good. 10 seconds. Whew. Now, after this, we go back to those heel taps. And go. Good. Let's put those weights down. If you want to do this exercise while holding dumbbells, that's fine. That works. Ready. And go. Now, what's really great about this is the higher you go, step-wise or height-wise, the lower down your knee bends. And this is the best exercise to get us working towards my ultimate goal, which is the single leg pistol squat. Good. Come on. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. And switch. Excellent job, guys. I know these are tough. This is going to hit your nervous system in a different way than you're used to. It's all about teaching our brain and our central nervous system how to fire correctly with our extremities. This also gives us proprioception, which is the nerves that allow our body to know where it is in space. So these are really great rehab exercises if you ever get hurt. Good. Good. Whew. Five, four, three. Two, one, back to those squats. Get your dumbbells ready. 30 seconds. And go. Push. Good. Up. Yep. Yes. Perfect. Now, if you're getting tired, no big deal. Pause the video, get a water break. And if this is too easy, you could also pause the video and just do more reps, more sets, more circuits. Nothing wrong with it. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Now, on our last set of the circuit, we're doing a 10 rep challenge. So I want you to get 10 in a row. Good form, nice control. When you're fatigued, that's when our form loses. That's when we get injured, go. One, two, three, four. See how even if I'm tired, my knee's not buckling. I'm very mindful of my alignment. Six, seven, eight, come on, nine, and 10. Yes, other side. Good. Ready. Get 10. Make it count. Here we go. What are you made of? One, two, three. Make sure you tap that heel. Four. If it's too high up, tap with the toe instead. You don't have to go as far. Six, seven, eight, and nine. One more. 10. Good. All right, now 10 rep challenge of the squats. Ready, and go. One, easy work, let's go. No sweat, come on. Four, hit it. Five, halfway. Six, yup, come on. Seven, let's go, make it count. You're a champion, let's go. Eight, one, last one. Nine, and 10, very nice job. All right guys, circuit number three, we are gonna do our Tabata, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First we're doing alternating lateral lunges. I want you to stand nice and wide. Ready, 20 seconds, hit it. Good, back straight. Good, knees in line with those toes. Yep. Try not to bend over at the back. Try to keep your body as tall as you can and push off of your heel. If you're pushing off of your toes and your heels are coming up, you're probably too wide of an angle. Good, rest. Now we're going into our step ups next, alternating step ups. In five, four, three, two, one. Go, up. Good. Light work, push off that heel, squeeze the glute at the top. Good. You can hold more weight if you want. If you don't have steppers, you can do alternating forward lunges. Good. Good, 10 second rest, back to those lunges. You guys are doing great so far. Catch your breath, wipe the sweat off. I like to go nice and wide with these, ready? Hit it, 20 seconds. Push off that heel. Don't allow yourself to push off that toe, you'll get knee pain. We'll get patellar tendonitis. By pushing off our heel, we get that posterior chain. It goes right through the quads and the glutes. If we are front dominant, it's gonna go mainly into the quads. If our quads are too big, then we're in trouble. Good, 10 seconds. Go back to those step ups, you guys are crushing it. Three, two, one, go. Good. So one leg is doing all the work, as you see. I go up with one, I go down with the opposite. Yep. Good. Doing great, guys. We're almost there. Rest. Back to those lunges. We're halfway down with this circuit. This is light work. Easy day for you today. Come on. Go. Whoosh. Two. Good, yes. Come on. Squeeze at the top, squeeze that glute. Good, try not to bend over in the hips. Try to keep your back tall. You do that by keeping your shoulder blades retracted. Good, three, two, one, yes. 10 seconds, back to those step ups. You guys are crushing it today. Should be feeling really, really good. And go, up, good. Up, come on, make them count. Good form, good speed, good cadence. Your breath is in control. Even if your heart rate's up, breathe through your nose, in and out through your mouth. Good, 10 seconds. This is our last set for this circuit. You guys have done great so far. We'll get some water after this. Hit it all the way, go. 20 seconds, all out, baby, go. 
Good. Good. Strong knees, strong hips, stable ankles. This is how we build. Go. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Last one of these step ups. This is light work today, guys. Well done. And go. Up. Good. And then switch. Good. Remember, step all the way on it so you can push through that heel. As you see, if I step here and I'm, my knees are now in front of my toes, and I'm just going to cause myself knee pain. Good. Excellent job, guys. All right. Take a little water break. That was awesome. All right, guys. Circuit number four, the last circuit of the day. We're going to start with our double leg calf raise. I know we all hate to do it, but they are very important for our ankles. Ready? And we're going to do 10. Go. All the way up and stay on that big toe. Don't go to your pinky toes. You almost want to feel like you're giving yourself a cramp right in your calf muscle. Good. Now remember, if the knees are straight, we're getting the gastroc. If the knees are bent about 20 degrees, we're getting the soleus. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna go into a sumo squat. You can use it with two dumbbells, one dumbbell, whatever you prefer. Knees are gonna be wide, feet are gonna be externally rotated. Back is up. Ready, 10 of them, go. One, two, beautiful. Three, come on. Four, five, six, Go, baby, go. Seven, push. Eight, and nine, and ten. Good. We go back to those calf raises this time. We're doing eight. Ready, go. One, two, really squeeze. Three, four, five, come on. Six, seven, and eight. Sumos, eight of them. As you guys see, we're going down in our reps as we go along. Go. Two. Come on. Easy stuff. Three. Go, baby. Go. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Beautiful. All right. We're going to six calf raises now. And go. One. Whoo. Don't rock. Don't use momentum. Stay on the big toe. Five. And six. Yep. Six sumos. You guys are almost there. We're almost done. Come on, dig deep. Go. One. Whew. Three. Come on. Four. Nice. Five. Last one. And six. Yep. Now we go to four. Y'all are there. Let's go. Easy stuff. One. Two. Make them count. Three. Don't cheat it. And four. Good. Sumos. Four of them. Come on. We're almost done, guys. This is the last one. One. Two, three, and four, yep. All right, two of each, and then we have earned a protein shake. Ready, go all the way. One, and two, hold it, hold it, good. Last two, and then we're all done, guys. You all have crushed it today, good job. Ready, go, all the way down. One, hold it, hold it, hold it, finish. Awesome job today, guys. Go ahead, give yourself a clap, pat on the back. You've earned it today. Excellent job. Thank you guys so much for joining our lower body blast workout today. You guys did great. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click push notifications to stay up to date with all our current workouts. And if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. You can also follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. We'll see you next time. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.